Hello again, I am Luis Fe and this is Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne and it's another boss fight. This time is the Pale Rider, another one of the fiends, one of the knights of death, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. This time is death itself. The horse is pale. The horse represents the paleness of a skin in death and decay. Um, well, at least the horse does not have many eyes, like the famine, or no, yeah, I mean pestilence, pestilence, uh, pestilence, whatever, rider, the rider is dead, and he kills by plagues, slaughters, and etc, 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 and this one is the last the very last of the pale of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. He calls Loas. Loas! Yes! Let's see what the hell a Loa is. The demonic compendium says a group of divinities worshipped in the voodoo religion. They control forces of nature and influence human activities. Some also have powerful magic, which they use to curse others. And, well, they are the syncretic uh, voodoo divinities, apparently. I don't know. Let's see what Wikipedia says. Probably something similar, maybe, maybe not. Oh, yeah. The Loa are the spirits of the voodoo religion practiced in Haiti and other parts of the world. They are they are also referred to as the Mysteries and the Invisibles. They are someone somewhat akin to saints or angels in Western religions, in that they are intermediaries between Bondi, Bondiu or Good God, the Creator, who is distant from the world and humanity. Unlike saints of an or angels, however, they are not simply prayed to. They are served. They are each distinct beings with their own personal likes and dislikes, distinct sacred rhythms, songs, dances, ritual symbols, and special modes of service. Contrary to popular belief, the Loa are not deities in and of themselves. They are intermediaries for a distant and uninterested body. Or die, I don't know. Ooh, they get it. In any case, in this fight, the Loa are more dangerous than the Rider himself. Why? They have a messy little attack called Debility, which is shared by Metatron. It's all the uh, Kunda spells rolled into one. Lowers everything and is rather annoying. Uh, with a couple of Loas, it can get really dangerous very quickly. Really quickly. Actually, the first time I played the game, I had an encounter with three Loas after beating the four Onis. The four Onis were easy, but the three Loas uh, destroyed me and I had not saved in a while. So I had to kick something after that. The Loras like to use the pity fate a lot. Well, not in this case, but uh, that one, in that case, they did. And it was not something good. At all. Ah, Fire of Sinai. I like that one. <laughs> See? More than 800 damage in a single spell. It would be awesome if the Dragon Eye spell could be learned, but no, that cannot be. Also, the Loa in this game are awesome. How about in the signs? I mean, freaking skulls with snakes? That's pretty damn kick ass. But they are gone, they are dead now, and that was easy. That could have been much worse. Hooray for the Metatron! And level up! Yay! 
customizing the stats. Luck. Yes, luck. Rakukaya. Removing one of them because Rakukaya is, ca is ca quite a useful. The counter shall be removed. Yes, indeed. Because there are some enemies later that actually reflect physical damage and that could be nasty. And Horus also leveled up. Oh, isn't that cute? And Daisuju also leveled up. Well, goodbye. That's it. That's all. Later!